Step up your gold per hour with Aspects. The Aspect Mastery System is a progression-based system used to enhance your PVM gain. Today, I'm going to once again go over the Aspect Mastery System in detail. So sit back, grab yourself a beer, let's talk about it. Each aspect is unlocked by collecting six distillations, which are created by a GM alchemist, by fusing a bottle with an extract. Extracts are dropped randomly by the creatures of Outlands. You can also buy them from the buy slash sell channel on the Outlands Discord or the almost 1,000 member Star Gaming Discord. A neat little trick is you can search right here the exact item you're looking for and figure pricing. You will also need 12 cores of the same aspect type, which can be acquired the same way as the extracts. 50 Magic Essence, which is obtained by recycling magic items, one Aspect Kit. An Aspect Kit can be created by any crafter with GM in that particular skill. One Master Crafting Diagram and 250 of that specific resource. So if a tailor crafted it for you, you would need leather. One quick note is when you unlock the Aspect, you've unlocked the Aspect. You don't need to unlock it for all three. Once it has been activated, it will begin to burn arcane charges as you do damage. So you'll want to keep a steady flow of magic items being recycled to basically fuel your aspect. You can recycle items with a magic item recycler from the prep vendor or a much cheaper option, a tailoring kit works as well once the item has been identified. In order to identify an item, you can use the ID wand or the item ID skill. You will then also need to find more distillations and cores as you gain experience and level your aspect. Now let's go over the different types of aspects. Let's start with air. Air armor helps with how fast you swing your weapon, as well as how fast you regain mana. It also increases damage resistance as you're damaging the enemy. Finally, it helps you avoid movement and pairing effects like hinders. An example would be the Nogalids in Cavernem. The damage proc is Whirlwind. Whirlwind does AoE damage proc and reduces the enemy's defense. Air armor is actually really popular with melee templates currently due to the increased swing speed because who wouldn't want to hit super fast? Next up is Artisan. Artisan is quite a unique aspect. It gives you a boost of armor if you're wearing crafted armor. It allows repair kits to be used to buff yourself and friends for more melee damage, but it mostly is used by crafters for the increase in exceptional crafting chance. Its weapon is widely used, however, by melee characters due to its damage proc called Fortify. Fortify doesn't have an actual damage proc like the others, but it increases both your damage resistance and physical damage of not just yourself, but the friends around you for two minutes. One thing of note about Artisan Aspect is it can be leveled by both killing creatures as well as crafting items. Blood Aspect was introduced on Valentine's Day in 2020. This is a really fun aspect due to the armor giving you a chance to inflict bleeds on your opponents with either your melee or your spells. Not only that, but after the monster hits 50% hit points, it gives a damage bonus of 10% and then 3% for every tier it's leveled. This makes it a really strong aspect for helping fellow adventurers kill bosses. Not only that, but it increases all stats, which in turn gives you more hit points, mana, and stamina. The weapon proc is Ravage. This ability causes yet another bleed effect to monsters in the surrounding area. Command Aspect is highly sought after for anyone that is commanding pets to help do their bidding. It gives both damage bonus and damage resistance to all your followers. If you're leveling pets as a tamer, it also helps them get to max level rather quickly and is the go-to aspect while taming creatures due to its increased taming chance bonus. The weapon proc is Inspiration, which heals all of your followers to full hit points and grants them a nice 50% base damage bonus, then more based on tier level for 30 seconds. Not only that, but this effect can stack twice. Talk about some serious damage. One thing of note, the damage bonus is reduced by half for undead followers. Therefore, if you are a necromancer, it won't do quite as much damage increase for your undead followers. Death is the necro aspect. The armor boasts effective necromancy skill bonus, which will give you more unholy runes, allowing you to use more of your necro abilities as well as do significantly more damage with them. Not only that, but it also gives you a chance for a bonus, unholy symbol, on tick as well as a chance per mana spent. Talk about a ton of unholy symbols. The weapon proc is decay. 
This will do a strong damage over time effect to the enemy creature as well as prevent your undead followers from losing its max hit points for the next 30 seconds. Discipline Armor gives you both melee damage as well as damage resistance for 10 seconds after you use mana. It also gives your weapon specials more damage. This pairs really well with something called stance dancing while using the wrestling codex or possibly a hybrid build of sorts where you maybe cast poison or lightning on the target every 10 seconds, then re-equip your weapon. The weapon proc is Iron Will. Iron Will does a nice direct damage to your target as well as increase your personal melee damage, spell damage, and damage resistance for 30 seconds and it can stack twice. Earth, in my opinion, is a really undervalued aspect. It's great for a newer character or just a pure Dexer character looking for that edge and survivability. It will give you a chance to increase your melee damage by 225% and beyond as you gain in levels with it. Not only that, but it increases your damage resistance as long as you're above 33% hit points. Finally, if you manage to stay stationary for 3 seconds or more, your damage resistance will once again increase. The weapon proc is Earth Hands, which does a nice AoE damage to all creatures within 6 tiles as well as reduce their armor for the next 30 seconds. To all the pure summoner or pure spell damage mages out there, this one's for you. It starts off with giving you spell damage bonus per 20 mana you spend as well as helping you keep from being interrupted while casting your spell. Eldris also finishes that off with effective spirit speak that will increase the stats of your summons. If you're using scrolls to cast your spells, it helps the damage bonus of them while utilizing the inscription ability. The weapon proc, Energy Surge, does a 6 tile radius AoE damage effect which reduces their magic resistance for 30 seconds as well as, a create, as create a mana well that will essentially give you mana for your spell cast. This ability works wonders for those of you working your wizard grimoire. Turn on the air conditioner and grab that ice cold beer. Let's talk about fire. Fire is hot. For every type of damage you do, fire armor has a chance to cause your enemy to engulf in flames, causing even more damage. Also, for every hit a creature does to you, they take reflect damage right back. Finally, field damage will do substantially less damage to you. This will help to mitigate some damage taken during bosses. The weapon proc Fire Nova is a very powerful AoE damage to creatures within four tiles. It's really cool because it kind of looks like a big old bomb. Fortune aspect is the money making aspect. It really excels in crowded dungeons where you won't constantly be killing because it increases the gold and loot item chances. It also is really popular for treasure mappers due to its wand and place trap damage bonus, as well as its lock picking, maps, and harvesting skill bonus. The weapon proc Windfall is another 6 tile AoE damage ability that also increases creatures gold loot by 10% and increases by 1% as you gain in levels. Holy does for chivalry what death did for necromancy. It increases chivalry skill allowing for more holy symbols to be held. It also gives a chance to give you ho bonus holy symbols. Furthermore, it increases both your melee damage as well as your damage resist based on the amount of symbols you use. The weapon proc Judgment is a 4 tile AoE proc that not only damages the enemies but also heals up to 10 people within a 12 tile radius for 15% of their health and more as it increases in levels. If you're thinking about playing a bard, then make sure and look at Lyric Aspect. The armor increases the damage done to barded targets and increases song effectiveness giving your buffs more power behind them. Finally, it also increases the effective barding skill, making it easier to bard your enemies. The weapon proc is Cacophony, which is a 6 tile AoE damage ability that will prevent barding breaks for 5 seconds and longer as you gain in levels. Having one of these is very instrumental in boss fights. Next up we have the current at the time of recording flavor of the month aspect, Poison. Poison recently went from zero to hero when the poison kits were introduced and the aspect itself was reworked. First off, it gives you a damage bonus to poison targets. Furthermore, there is a chance to resolve additional poison ticks, which create a nice burst of damage. Lastly, it will give you more effective poisoning and taste ID, giving you more damage with your poison abilities, some necro abilities, mana slash stamina regain from your food, even swing speed if you're a dexer. 
The weapon proc is Toxicity, which is a 6 tile AoE damage that will also resolve some poison ticks already on the creature. At the time of this video, I feel like Shadow may be getting a rework in the future, but currently as it is today, it increases your backstab accuracy and damage, therefore making it the backstab aspect. It also gives you 10 seconds of damage resistance after performing a backstab, helping you to evade back into the shadows and prepare to strike again. Finally, it increases your stealth steps, making you more efficient in traveling undetected. The weapon proc is Vanish, which puts the player into stealth mode, as well as increasing the damage of their next backstab substantially. Void is arguably my favorite all around aspect. It seems to fit with just about any template you can think of. There is what's called auto stats restoration that will automatically heal you, refresh your stamina, as well as mana after a short duration of time. Not only that, it gives you effective parrying and magic resist, once again making your survivability even higher. Lastly, it helps you to ignore those enemies' armor or penetrate past their magic resist for a certain percentage that increases as you level the aspect. Due to the mana regain you gain from this armor, this is also great while leveling your wizard grimoire. The weapon proc is Doom Dragon, this being a really strong single target damage proc that is tied with blood being the most damaging. Although there is a caveat, once procced, it doesn't do damage until the 10 seconds have passed. This makes for a great boss fighting weapon proc. Water. This is a great entry level aspect for tamers, or someone who farms with friends and wants to take the role of a healer as it gives a bonus to the healing dealt as well as received. Furthermore, it increases your chance for charge spells as well as weapon special chance. Lastly, it increases the effectiveness of your potions as well. This is a really versatile aspect that is also great for multiple templates with a low barrier to entry. The weapon proc is Ice Storm, which is yet again a 6 tile radius AoE damage that also slows the enemy's attack both melee and spell casting by 10% and increases as you gain in levels. Something to keep in mind, you can mix and match aspects, like using Void Armor and Eldritch Book in order to maximize your mana regain. Maybe I'm using air aspect to increase my haste and the artisan weapon to increase my melee damage. The options you can do are vast and a lot of the fun is coming up with different combinations and strategies. Keep in mind when using two aspects though, it does split the experience between the two. Also, the higher the aspect, the more damage you will do, therefore burning more of your arcane charges faster. If you have more questions, feel free to comment below with your questions or just video suggestions for the future. Also, I do live stream here on YouTube a lot of days, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. If you found this video helpful, please take a second to go ahead and like this video as it helps with discoverability for myself and UO Outlands. Thank you to the subscribers, the channel members, the Patreons, and you for watching this video. For more information on other progression systems that UO Outlands house, make sure and check out this video right here. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go level my aspect. Seriously, check the video out. It's great. No, I'm, I'm leaving. I'll see you guys. Oh, I, I guess to play, I have to be here at my computer.